Hello guys and welcome to a new series. This is my uh, series of random redstone where I'm going to be showing you pretty much loads of loads of loads of redstone stuff which you can use in your survival world. Now I thought I might as well start off with something that all of us use which is auto farms. So I've got pretty much the three kind of three best farms really that I could come up with. So and what I've got also here is it's pretty much is they're all different in like a certain way, such as this one's a big chunky one. That one's like a smaller version of that. And this is kind of like a hidden redstone kind of one. So what it is is I have been leaving them to go for a while to see if any of them have actually got melons in them. Don't don't think they would. Right, but what it is is this one has got a kind of like a cup timer kind of thing which is which I've made. Kind of which I think broke. Clever. Which does exactly that. What it does is when when the block disappears, it active it automatically activates the the torch there, which puts um makes the dropper um put another one down there, which makes it automatically all of these pistons will push out once every single five minutes. The signal also comes out here and goes through all this chain of of, of torches in order to launch all of them. This design is very very good um, because you can literally have an unlimited distance up going up really unlimited distance until well until you hit hit the border. So yeah, that's why that one's a good that one's a good one because it also uses only it actually uses one water stream as well, which is, means it's very good water wise. This one is very it's the most compact out of the, out of all of the designs. Out of every single one is the most compact, and it, it is actually more efficient as this one actually senses the melon. So let me just go get a melon from uh, melon. Uh, there you go. Get a melon because now what it, what what it does is it detects the block here because the redstone goes here, it detects the block, goes up there, and hits it with the, the piston. So. Literally in a few seconds, it's all gone. And it goes through, it goes through all of these hoppers into the chest. This one here is pretty much one of those, but kind of doubled up. It has got one stem and it's got two of the darts. This is pretty much twice as effective as that one because it's twice twice as much chance of of a miller being able to spawn. And it's the same same theory pretty much. Uh, that is proof though that these things are 100% efficient. There will always, oh, well, not always, but there will sometimes like be at, be pretty much stuff left over, which you don't really want. But oh well. So um, yeah, that one pretty much the designs are. Is, that one's a good one if you want to have like a massive, massive melon auto farm factory thing. That one's a good one for that. This one's a good kind of one if you're going to put it inside of your house. If you're going to put it inside of your house, I, I do recommend using using this one. Because uh, I do have a cruise liner on uh, on a server, the Pixelon server I do videos on. On uh, my cruise liner, I've got three of these because they're very compact and easy to put in to the, um, into the ship. This one, I would recommend for doing something like outside, I think, because these can be easily like put several put together and several stacked easily several high and things like that it's that one pretty much there is no limit to how many melons you can have go because pretty much you can have a melon there melon there but the only downside with this one is it can sometimes be very inefficient because if as you can see there's three melons there and well the pistons aren't aren't actually pushing it which means there's no way that any metal melons can spawn in for well, like four three minutes whatever whatever the left that's why these two are probably the best two because they literally just detect it and push it out, out of the way. This pretty much gets rid of it all. So, and I've pretty much not put a block here to just show you where the water is, but I would recommend putting like a block there and a block there because then it covers the water up, which means you haven't got really a chance of uh, of actually falling into the water. But when it comes to redstone, they are all very, very, very cheap for redstone. 
Now when it comes to redstone, the cheapest redstone wise is, is this one. Because you need the one for the torch, three there, that's four, five, six, seven, and then you need the eight there. So you need eight for that design. And you and you need one, four, eight. So yeah, you pretty much need double for this one. It this one is definitely the easiest when it comes to redstone, by far. But when it comes to iron, the, the best one as well is this one. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oops. But when it comes to using pretty much the pretty much the most iron it is this one. But it also at the same time is the one that uses the second least amount of redstone because it is all pretty much contained as perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing, yeah. Because what it does is it just goes straight up there. There's no no long kind of redstone going all the way out, all the way in. It's, just an, it's pretty much like it's literally a timer, small kind of timer circuit kind of thing, which, which you can feel for each putting like other designs like doors and things like that. Which goes straight along here, goes to the torch, and there's like a torch kind of bridge thing going up. And there is literally no redstone dust when it comes to this, when it comes to the device itself. It's just torches going all the way up. And when it does, it hits, makes all of these pretty much go forward, causing them to get, cut them out. Now, when it comes to the block that is actually being pushed out by the sticky piston, it will need to be, like, glass, or it will need to be, like, a glass block or something like a glass block. So, glass, glowstone, or, or a wooden fence, or some, oh, something that can't have a redstone pole to go through it. Because if it did, then this would happen. Right, put a dirt there, get some, get a melon, because this is what happens if you actually don't have a kind of a, like a glass or glowstone kind of block. It goes straight away there and just jams the whole thing up, which means it will, it will literally never work again. So let's to get, get another bit of glowstone, okay. So yeah, it's always useful to make sure that you actually use the right block there because otherwise that will mess up the whole thing when it comes to the blocks I've used here that's not really you don't have to use this block you can use any block really I just I just used that block because it was the one that was pretty much the nicest looking that I could get to uh, that, was, that was one of those two working but when it comes to efficiency and how efficient they actually are overall for the amount of melons you get this one's by far the most efficient for the amount of melons you get, that this one, I'd say that this one's the second efficient, that one's the least efficient. Depending on depending on whether you're near it or not, kind of thing. It's really awkward. I'm trying to there you go. There you go. So I keep keep pressing keys when I keep trying to get out. Alright. So yeah. And this has been the first random redstone video. You can feel free to copy any of these uh, these designs, put it in your own world, things like that. It's I seriously do not mind. I am doing this to make make it easier for you lot, pretty much. So I'll go through all of them all of them again, ready for you pretty much to copy and things like that. All this one is is a dropper. Then it goes to a wooden pressure plate, which has a redstone torch there going up. There's a redstone going along there, and there's pretty much a torch ladder going along here, with all the pistons every second block, and there's also all of it is laid out. Pretty much all the hoppers are laid out like that. We've got the water going through the top like that there, and yeah, that's that design. This design you've got input here for the redstone going there, melon go there, and that's all up there. The pistons here, blocks there, waters there, hoppers. Or in like a like in a C shape, so yeah. Look, you can you no matter you can change like where the output is. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. You, it doesn't matter where you have the output for, um, for this one, right? And this one, it's like a massive massive C kind of thing. And same as the last one, it doesn't matter where you have the output for it, as long as when you're putting your power block. Say, it's the same for this one. When you're putting your power block to power them, make sure that you do not actually have a hopper coming out of this one or this one or like this one because it will automatically lock the hopper and nothing will go through it. So apart from those two and that one, those you can pretty much link it anywhere you want. So yeah, this has been the first random redstone video. I 
I hope it helps you in your survival worlds. And hopefully, I hope that I'll be able to see some of these in your in your worlds, making your life a lot easier. So, I've been Captain Bob, and I hope these have helped. Bye!